Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. I'm back. <laughs> At least for the time being. There's many people that probably haven't seen the posts that I made on the YouTube community thing. Um, I haven't been around very often late the past few weeks because of just life. Life has been a real kick in the balls. And, and if I'm being honest with you guys, I'm also burnt out of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. I'm just taking a small break. Uh, I've been playing it so much, where <clears throat> been playing it every day, and I just need a little little break to myself. But that's beyond the point. I'm back with another video, and I'm also going to do something a little different from now on. Now I, I enjoy making the the videos I've been making with the the replays and the music and the little funny little clips editing. To be honest with you guys, I'm kind of getting bored of that. I kind of want my uh, channel to be more than that. I want to interact with like my viewers more. I can't really interact with you guys if I'm just putting some music and some replays. I'm getting a little bored of that. I want to do something extra, so I'm going to actually have some more plans with the channel. I do plan on you know doing some live stream. Uh, I eventually want to stream this game. I want to stream more stuff. Um, also, it'd be cool to go back to the TCG, back to my high school days where I'm actually opening packs and playing the card game for real. I'm not sure when I'm going to actually do that, but I actually do want to do pack openings for the channel. That's not, That looks fun. It's always fun to open packs. I always enjoyed opening packs. It was just very expensive. <laughs> but um, I also want to do uh, some live commentary when I play, the, when I play Ranked. Uh, live commentary seems to be helping you guys a lot for people that actually want to play heroes and they're not too 100% sure on what they would run and how what what plays they make and what cards are best suit for what uh, I actually do like doing the commentaries because it also helps me think too because when I play by myself and I do just save them for replays I kind of just have my brain on autopilot. You see me do some misplays, some really obvious misplays. I kind of just either I'm on, either I'm talking on the phone, or I'm talking to a family member, or I'm just like on Discord with a bunch of friends or someone. <laughs> I'm not fully focused when I play these games sometimes, and uh, when I do commentary, I do focus more. So it does help me. Uh, I don't want to make this intro way too long, but I'm actually I'm just giving you guys context of what's what's my thought process. Of what I want this channel to be and what I where I've been gone for so long, <laughs> I normally would never be gone this long. The only the last time I've been gone this long was because I was moving. I'm I'm I moved in. I'm in my new house. I'm settled in. It's just oh so the aftermath, having a full time job, still like moving stuff out of the house, helping family members, and honestly, if I'm being super blunt with you, depression. I've been I've been depressed for a while. And I've been trying to battle it my own way. I'm 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 kind of over it, I'm getting over it again. But I do want to play this game again. I do want to make content again. So that's where I've been. That's 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 what I want to do in the future channels. I want to do more commentaries. I want to live stream eventually, and opening packs. Yada yada yada. I I'm not gonna say I'm gonna quit doing the the normal whatever. With the music and stuff, I'll still I'll do it sometimes, just not all the time anymore. But anyways, that's done. We're gonna go straight to the video now. This is a vi this is a video I'm going to be commentating over the re over a couple of replays that I made uh, played the other day. I didn't really have time to do much more than that, but I'm like, you know what? Let me do something different. I'm actually gonna commentate over replays, see how it works. But anyways, this is my deck. My deck has actually uh, been changing a lot. I've been Taking super polys out, I put them back in because I realize I need them, or I, I want them in there because I'm screwed without super poly in some games, and I get mad at myself. My man, if I didn't take those super polys on my deck, anyways, I took out the maxi. I don't, I don't like maxi. It's just it, it bricks in my hand when I go for the draw of destiny. I do not get the card I need. I get max C, max flipping C. It ain't good for me. So I took it out. Uh, yes, I understand I could cross out it. Uh, cross out or uh, Smack C is very potent against combo decks like heroes. But I'm gonna take my chance to call by or just play around it. I don't have any room for Max C. And the Max C's don't really work out for me because I either get negated anyway or I get bricked. 
So I'm gonna play without Maxi. I don't really need Maxi in this deck. I don't, I don't think you need Maxi for heroes. So I'm, I'm running two Ash Blossom. Uh, I don't think I need three. Three is too many. Uh, I took one mass change out. I don't need. I don't feel like I need three mass change. Uh, I got two Imperms, two Droplet, and everything else seems to be the same. I put the Evil Hero package back in because I just, I really love Bane. Bane is just, he's so nice to have. Uh, yes, you you don't need Bane, but again, if you saw my first ever uh, hero, um, what's it called, guide, you'll know that I called Bane Chocolate Cake. You don't need it, but you want it. So. He's my favorite hero by far. He's my favorite hero card. So I gotta have him. So this is the deck. Um, pretty standard that you guys seen seen a lot. But um, yeah, just a little bit of changes without Maxi. I can't remember that last deck list I posted three weeks ago, but this is it. Now I'm going to go to the replays. Alright, first replay we're gonna have here. Now this is the one I'm, this is what this is one instantly salty. I have both my increase in my hand. Now I can't. Now I don't have a play with Forest. I have a hero lives to get Stratos to search for Forest, but when I have two increase in my hand, I can't even use the Forest combo. So now I'm already tilted. Let's let's just see what happens. But before I before I continue, look at this. Look at look, look at Stratos, and the mate, and look at look, just I just want to take a time to appreciate the hero playboard and Stratos. I was in love with that. I was in love with that. I was so happy when I got all that stuff. Anyways, <laughs> I'm rambling already. Well, I'm going to play against Mar uh, what is this? Monarch Florondaries. Like I've been having trouble with these these bird cards. I I never even heard of these cards until like my friends told me about them. They're saying Florondaries is broken in TCG. I haven't played TCG in years. So I'm seeing a new variant of. Monarch Florondaries, it looks like Monarch. So, if some is this thing, I don't even know what this thing does. All I know is that Florondaries like to trigger something a lot. But I'm going to open up with my Hero Lives to get my Stratos. I can't get Forest, so I'm going to go for Vion. That's the bet. next best thing. I'm just going to normal summon Vion. I'm going to use the combo to send Shadow Mist to the grave so I can get Liquid Soldier. So I can do my Polymerization combo. I'm going to banish Shadow Mist to get my Polymerization. And then I use Polly to get Sunrise, right? Yeah, I, I fuse one increase in my hand with the Soldier to make Sunrise. Sunrise gets to draw two, plus the Miracle Fusion with Liquid Soldier. Um, those three back rows scare me, but not too much. I get my Miracle Fusion, I get my draw two. My draw two is going to be Rota. I'm going to pitch Denier. I'm going to link someone to make Crusader, I should really skip this animation. My bad. Get Denier. I'm not gonna use this effect because I haven't had malicious yet. I'm gonna get my Dusted Gold. My Dusted Gold will get myself a Dark Calling. Yeah, I'm going to use the Dark Calling. I have no idea. Like, when he used this, uh, the Monarch, whatever, uh, apparently he could tribute summon on his turn. With a monster I control, I mean, I don't really care if you if you tribute this or that, but it didn't even go off. I don't know if it's it's, it's a non-target. So I'm like, wait, can he tribute summon with my bane after I summon it? That'd be stupid. But nothing happened. I was I was confused. I'm not gonna lie. I used my plasma instead to make bane. Ignore that my phone. I mean, he's Bane to blow that up. Now, again, I'm very unfamiliar with these cards. Now, this is once per turn, you could, during my opponent's main phase or battle phase, I can immediately tribute someone one monster. So I'm guessing he could tribute some of this, but he didn't tribute. So I'm, I'm just really confused on these Monarch cards. Nothing happens. I'm gonna need someone's explanation. That dies. I go for, I go for a face. I blow it up. Now here's why I play underplay. I thought I had game, but I forgot he had that trap card <laughs> in the graveyard, so he just summon it to the field. So that's annoying. I could have just easily 
place Miracle Fusion and made absolute, uh, absolute zero and just go for game, but it is what it is. I'm going to make absolute zero now just because I have Droplet. In case he swarms the field, I have Droplet to send um, absolute zero to the grave and it will blow up his whole field with uh, absolute zero's effect. He uses Harbor Feather Duster to destroy my Droplet. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, this Monarch Spell card that makes him draw two. He activates three cards. I pick whatever card. I don't even know. Like, what, what, what does he have for this? He pitches a card to draw two. He sends that, banishes that someone back on the field. Then he sends another far on the race. Then he attacks that band because he realized he can't do anything. <laughs> I was a little confused why he did that, but he gave up. But yeah, that's game one. On to the next. All right, we're going to game two. Um, if I remember correctly, this was against a Earth Machine deck. Machina? Machina? Whatever you want to call it. I'm going to normal summon Stratos to get my search. Just kidding. Ash of Blossom says no to all of that. You know how Ash of Blossom is in every single opening hand your opponent inside the field whenever you go first. So that's done. I'm just going to play some permanent space down into my turn because I can't do anything else because that's how the game works. He's going to summon this thing. Machina, machunk, machunk, chunk, chunk. He's gonna excavate three machines. I was gonna think about permanenting this, but I'm like, mm, I didn't want him to go all, all his attack back if I negated it. But then I realized maybe I should have negated that because he did that. But I see Liquid Soldier in my hand. I'm just gonna bring Stratos back and search for Forest. Hopefully that face down is not impermanent. So I'm gonna play my Rota just to see if he had another Ash Blossom. And look, look at that, he does. Just my luck. Hand traps for days. I always have to play around those. I was gonna get Shadow Miss anyway, or it didn't really matter. I, I just want to see if he had Ash Blossom. I'm gonna summon Limit the Soldier to use his effect to bring back a level 4 or lower elemental hero from the graveyard. Or no, it's just Hero Monster. Got Stratos. Stratos is for Forest. I'm gonna pitch Denier to summon Forest. Forest is gonna use his uh, regular combo to get increase in the deck. I'm gonna sack it, uh, Forest to get increase in the field. Increase is gonna get Vion to the field. Vion's going to send Malicious to the graveyard. Vion's also going to banish Forest to get my polymerization from my deck. Now this is when you know how heroes go. Heroes go crazy. I'm going to Link Summon to make my Crusader using Vion and Increase. I'm going to use Crusader to bring back Malicious from the Grave. Now I'm interested to go throw him back in the graveyard, back in the trash you go, to get my Dusted Gold. You know where this is going. Plays for days, I'm going to send <laughs> Dusted Gold <laughs> to the graveyard to get my Dark Calling. And this guy doesn't even know what's going to happen. I'm going to fuse my Liquid Soldier and my Increase in my hand to make my Sunrise. Sunrise is going to get that draw 2 with that Miracle Fusion. Just kidding. I already used that effect with uh, <laughs> Liquid Soldier with my Stratos. I'm going to link it to Wonder Driver. I'm going to use Wonder Driver's effect to get my Polymer back, but Banishing Malicious back to the field right under Wonder Guard, so it's back activates. I get my Polymerization, then I bring Deny it back to the graveyard because I have a destiny here on the field. I'm going to put my Banish Malicious back on top of the deck and I'm going to use my Polymerization to get my DPE because I have plays for days. Plays for days! I got my DPE and I'm not even done yet. But he's Banish. Banish Malicious back. Bring it back to the field. Link Summon. Let's go. Dread Decimator. You know what's coming up? Dark Calling. We're going to make Bane. Beast Scoops! GG. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is the final game, the third and final game, and it is a not it is a very long and drawn out one, I will say. This is a, I didn't even know what this was at first though, it was an Eldritch deck because I had three face down. The one time I have Nibiru in my hand going second, they don't play anything. I'm going to summon Vion, uh, then I see Exo Sister, I'm like, oh god, it's an Exo Sister deck? I've never played against this in my life. What is this even doing? Summons two Exo Sisters, I don't, okay, sure. You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna block lethal with these Exo Sisters. I send Shadow Mist to the grave. He has Ice Dragon Prison to bring Shadow Mist to his field and banish my Vion with my Shadow Mist. But I can still get to search. I'm going to search for Forest. And I'm gonna use Forest to pitch my Denier to bring him to the field. And I'm gonna start doing that oh so familiar combo to bring back Increase to the field. Increase is gonna get Vion. And Compulsory Evacuation Device. Back running goes to my hand, I can't do anything. So, well, so much for that. Your turn, go.
I can't even use Super Poly because I need Elemental Hero for my Elemental Fusions. But he sets two face down again, and I there's nothing he did. So I guess we're both bricking. I'm going to summon Vine back in the field. He's going to Ash Blossom. Of course, his last card has to be Ash Blossom. And he has another Ice Dragon's Prison. Like... Dude, you pl you're, you're starting to get a little bit try-hard now. Like, you're gonna bring Denier back, and you're just gonna banish them both, and Vion's negated. So I lost my Denier and my Vion. That's fine, I Foolish Bear to send Malicious to the graveyard myself. I'm gonna bring Malicious to the field by banishing itself, and I'm going to link into Crusader. But guess what? When I target my Malicious, he has another compulsory evacuation device. So, again, something that <laughs> I can't do again. That goes back to the extra deck and I get one Malicious. And so I'm just gonna swing for 800 and just pass, because literally stops everything with these annoying busted trap cards. Alright. Then he has Extra Sister Pass, apparently switches for Extra Sister. He's just gonna summon that to the field in his turn. I don't know why he summoned that, it's just gonna die to my malicious. He should have put in defense mode. I don't know what Extra Sisters really do. I don't care, I'm gonna kill it, I'm tilted, die. <laughs> Still nothing I could do, except set by called by. And if he top decks something, uh, I mean I have Nibiru for a combo, but he wants to pass his turn. Alright, well, here we go. Draw another card. Still something useless. I can't use Forbidden Droplet. So I'm just gonna swing for 800. And I guess I'm just gonna set Droplet and pass. Nothing I can really do. I'm, I'm bricking. The Dark Calling and Super Poly is bricking. And he has Lord of Heavenly Prison. I am so angry because I have nothing for that monster. He's gonna activate that face down. That's, I drew Plasma. Well, of course I drew Plasma. Like, oh, well, he activated his, his face down, which means Lord of Heavenly Prisons online. A, a card that I can't exactly do much about. 3,000 defense, 3,000 attack. And he gets a Harvey's Feather Duster to destroy all my face downs. So, I'm screwed. I'm tilted. I'm very frustrated. I'm not getting anything in my hand. I might lose this thing. Harvey's Feather Duster, I'm just gonna activate all my face downs as much as I can. I'm gonna banish one extra sister for some reason. Now I'm going to. Droplet, send the call back to the graveyard, and I'm going to uh, cut a monster's attack in half. I don't even know what the Exorcistor did. I should have just negated that instead. I, ne I I was looking more at his attack points. 3,000 attack is not what I want to take because he's going to run over, run it over really easily. Uh, he he freaking XC summon Michaelis. I didn't even know you could XC summon a whole monster. I have no idea what what Exorcistors do. She's going to attach an Xyz material to get a spell trap card. Cool, way to go. And she also sends my banishes my malicious. So I take 4,000 damage, but I get my increase. Mm. Now I'm praying to God I get an elemental hero or something. Because I'm looking at the damage, I, I lose next turn. If I don't draw anything good, he's just going to swing at me for game. So will I be able to top deck something? Will I get my draw of destiny? The answer is yes. I top deck fusion destiny. I'm like, thank the lord. That's max C. That's fine. I'm like, if you have another Ash Blossom, I'm going to throw my monitor out my window. But thankfully, the third Ash Blossom is not a thing. He has max C. I don't give a damn. He's going to draw one card. That's all I can play is one monster because I have nothing else on my hand to do anything. I had just enough to make DPE. I have Honest Neos and Plasma. Thank the Lord. Now, I swing on Heavenly Prison because he gets nerfed from my hero monsters. I'm gonna bus increase to bus that extra sister. And those two extra sisters go back to the, to the deck because of that whatever trap card. So now, this feels empty. I'm not even gonna play around with this. I'm busting that, that face down, and that is compulsory evacuation of us again. If I am bust that, I was, I'd be really, really annoyed. <laughs> DP comes back to the field. There's nothing else he can really do. I'm gonna set my dark calling just so I can bust it. His face down, whatever that is. Uh, it's Ash Blossom. That's the third Ash Blossom. I don't know why I didn't use it. I'm gonna mass change my uh, DPE to make Dark Law and attack the game. Get out of my face, Biatch. That's the whole game. 
All right, people, that's the whole video. I wanted to do this because I wanted to do this for a while. I don't think I've ever done a commentary of a replay yet. That was uh, mildly entertaining to myself, anyway. Anyways, I'm really sorry about being inactive, but I promise I will be a little more active now. And I'm going to do a little more fun stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate the people that actually stayed and, and waited for me. I Words can't describe how grateful I am for people to actually, you know, spend their time watching my stuff. It's, it, it's, I never thought I'd be uh, this far. Thank you guys very much. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.